Okay, everybody, this is Seattle 206723, and this is the Glock, uh, new Glock I picked up, and do a quick opening on that. See, there you go. Glock 26, new baby Glock. Um, got here. Everybody take a good look at it. Glock 26. And the reason I picked up this one, uh, this Glock 26, is because the capacity. These particular Glocks have a capacity of 10 rounds. Let's see if that'll autofocus here. Um, has a capacity of 10 rounds and there we go change the auto focus on it's a capacity of 10 rounds and it's got the plus one on the uh, bottom right here so you've got a Glock and these are uh, these right here are federal premium uh, H, uh, hydro shocks right here um, always keep those loaded. Some people go at the HSTs. I prefer the Hydra Shocks. I think they're a little bit better personally. Just, just you know, preference there when you're dealing with that. But um, I had the. You've seen it, the Glock 380, the Glock 42. Um, this particular one is, is in the caliber 380. It's a little pocket rocket. Slip this in your pocket and no one would know. Um, but I just didn't feel as quite as comfortable with this one as I did the other one. This one has the finger, the third finger groove on there. So that way when you're holding it, you know, you've got a full, you know, you've got your pinky on there, you've got your finger there, your pinky, and she's good to go. Now, as far as the, the size differences between the two, um, there's not a whole lot. I mean, let's see here, put that one there. And zoom her on in a little bit. Right? Just to give you guys a quick size comparison of the two. Um, they're close in size, um, but, you know. The Wesson name is a little bit bigger. And where the big big difference is, is going to be is when you're looking at that. That's a lot thinner than that one for sure. You can see the, the size difference there really starts to stick out between the two. Um, this one is more, you know, the, the 26 is, is thicker, definitely. This one's thinner. Uh, but the big thing I didn't like this one's a Gen 4. This is a Gen 3, so this one's got a you know a release on. Well, no, it's a Gen yeah, it's a Gen 4. Um, it's got the bigger Wesson. But if you look at this one, let's see if I put a focus in. It's only got six shots. When my you put a plus one on there and get seven. But this has got 11, and it comes in a bigger caliber. If you're in a, this one right here is my new everyday carry uh, Glock right there. And then, of course, you know, duty rifle, duty gun, you know, you got the, the 17 here. Glock 17. Right there, that one. You know, Old Faithful right here. She's a Gen 3 as well. Uh, you know and you get all three you got all three of these guys right here and um, 9 millimeter 380 9 millimeter platform um, winter time carry when you're wearing your coat carry for when you're wearing some real thin shorts or something and a short you just need something to throw in your pocket everyday carry uh, always um, you know, if you go into a place where 
you know, or it's hot outside, say it gets to be 90 degrees, 90 something, and you got to throw on some little shorts or something and a little flimsy t-shirt, you know, those cheap cotton ones. So you can throw that in your pocket and your, you know, your, 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 your shorts and you're good to go. Um, but with jeans and, you know, baggy or clothes, you, you can carry this. This is definitely, I would recommend to carry because of it's, it's a nine millimeter. Uh, you know, it accepts um, 17. I mean, I can take the magazine from this one, which is a Glock 17 magazine. And I can take that and stick it into 26. It'll hold it just fine. You see? So that's it. It holds all mags and that sticks out and looks ugly, but it'll work just as fine if you need it to. It'll take the 19s as well. So that's kind of the reason why I went with that one, but stick that there. There's nothing in any of the chambers. I've already checked them, but if you want, you know, I'll danger it up for you. There you go. Danger checks, right? <laughs> Well, I just wanted to go over this, share this guy, share this with you. Picked up the new Glock 26. Um, you know, everyday carry, highly recommended. I mean, I probably add a, a tungsten guide rod in there, and maybe a red dot to it. Uh, uh, maybe a red dot to it or something like that. But Glock 26 everyday carry nine millimeter plus one so you've got 11 in the clip one in the chamber so it's a 12 round shooter um it's got the the round it's got you know the ability to add extra capacity by using 17s or 19s um and the first thing i did with it when i got it was is i cleaned it i've taken it to the range i put two other rounds to it in one day just to see how it ran runs runs really smooth runs really good it's a gen 3 i didn't get to gen 4 um I prefer the Gen 3s personally. They, they fit my hand really well. So it all comes down to preference there. This is a Gen 4. But I thought I'd share that with everybody. We got Old Faithful here as always. This is Seattle 206723. Um, any questions or anything like that, put them in the comments section. Uh, there will be more videos and stuff that are going to come out. I got some reviews of some cognacs that I, I've been meaning to do and get to. But, you know... Winter time, birthdays, a lot of birthdays come up this time of year in our family. There's a lot of people who are Aquariuses. But anyways, uh, Seattle 206723, and I'm out.